The Bluegill Bluegills are the most widely distributed members of the sunfish family and are found in streams, rivers, lakes, ponds, swamps, and pools of creeks all over North America, east of the Rockies. Schools may contain between 10 to 30 fish. They prefer quiet, sluggish shoreline areas with rooted aquatic vegetation and waters less than 10 feet deep, especially during mating season. However, like their larger relative, the largemouth bass, bluegill are known to dwell in areas as deep as 30 feet or more when the upper surface heats up during the summer months. They prefer heat, but not direct sunlight. Bluegill are commonly referred to as bream, but are also known as brim or coppernose. Due to their prolific level of hardiness, their populations can grow beyond the capacity of the water. The bluegill gets its name from the iridescent markings on its gill cover and lower jaws. Their bodies are disc-shaped. The pectoral fins are pointed, and their coloring depends greatly on the quality of their habitat's overall water conditions. The bellies of males are colored bright orange, while female bellies are mottled green. Each bluegill can have six to eight vertical, olive-colored bars running down their sides. Bluegill can measure up to 12 inches long and weigh nearly five pounds. Bluegills have a natural ability to travel and change directions at high speeds by means of synchronized fin movements. Their flat, slender bodies lower water resistance, allowing them to cut through the water, enabling them to be successful in both capturing prey and escaping predators. Their diet consists of aquatic insect larvae, but can include crayfish, leeches, snails, and small fish. They will consume vegetation when the food supply is scarce, and even feed on their own eggs or offspring. Because of their small mouths, bluegills heavily rely on sight to calculate their distance from prey in order to successfully use their suctioning system observed when capturing prey. In turn, bluegill are essential to the survival of larger species, including the large and smallmouth bass, trout, muscalunge, turtles, northern pike, perch, walleye, catfish, and even larger bluegill. Spawning for these fish begins in May when the water temperature hits 65 to 80 degrees and extends to August. Males move into shallow sandy areas and fan out nests with their tails. Suitable nesting habitat may contain multiple nests, each of which are vigorously defended by the male. When a female enters the nest, the pair will circle each other, with the male expressing very aggressive behavior toward the female. If she stays, she rests in the center of the nest. With the male in an upright posture, the pair touches bellies, quiver, and spawn. A female can produce as many as 100,000 eggs. The eggs are cared for by the male until the larvae hatch and are able to swim away on their own. Bluegill typically live four to six years, but can reach eight to 11 years old in captivity. When keeping bluegill in an aquarium, a minimum of 55 gallons is recommended with no more than three bluegill in the tank as they will grow 
and may exhibit territorial behaviors, much like cichlids. Pay close attention to pH levels. 6.8 to 7.0 is best, but for North American natives, a range of 6.5 to 7.0 is ideal. Remember that tropical fish prefer temperatures of 80 to 85 degrees, but bluegill will thrive just fine in 65 to 70 degrees. Change one quarter of the water once every two weeks. And always be sure that if you are taking bluegill from the wild, that you adhere to all fishing laws in your state.